Welcome back everyone to my channel for another video. Now this is going to be a series that I promised from the last video that I was going to do. So, uh, what's going to be is going to be pretty much all about the HBM Q. Because I can tell I'm going to the struggle, struggle on Q pretty fast. If I do get past it, like right away, then I'll go ahead and put in the descriptions that it's actually R. And I'm pretty much going to get stuck on because... It's going to be R for sure that I'll get stuck on first. And then, so people have been telling me on my um, guild that, um, that you know like how I have one wall here and then I have no wall here. Because I have two layers, of, I have those two layers of walls here and then I have these three and then I have this wall right there and then this three here and then two on this side. So that's why, um... They they just saying that they're mi that you're missing an additional wall right here. Now I did say I am upgrading my town hall, so it takes five days and twenty one hours and twenty one minutes. It's really funny because twenty now it's twenty minutes, so five days, twenty one hours, and twenty minutes. Relic hall is going up, and then hero bases. I gotta show you the hero bases. All at nine, and then this one has been has been stuck on ten for like the longest time. Because I had one ten and then everyone else was six. And that's how I'm... They're pretty much nine now from this point on. So, let's see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We still have 16 minutes until the... I can upgrade another hero base. So, they're pretty much all level nine. So, upgrade maybe... Yeah, let's upgrade Jurid's base when he comes up. So, and I also have almost max HP. You can see right there, I'm getting way too much HP every time. And I don't even know why I did that, but let's upgrade a hero. That's what I want to say. So let's upgrade a hero. Um, This Vlad has a 3-5 heavy blow and 3-5 scatter. I want to find a good talent that actually fits with a hero. I got that one up. It's Pumpkin Dick. And this one too. 4-5 War God maybe. Mm. Well, actually, I'm going to get Paladin up because it's actually my highest Paladin, and I need, like, a tank. I can't, like, I already do have tanks, but, I mean, it's a Paladin. I just give some celebration to Paladin, so yay. Ooh. I still don't like Paladin, but gain free might because it's about, um, because you're gaining a, a bit of levels, so that's why. Um... Now, I have some news that not only did uh, some other YouTubers find out as well, I actually found out myself. That's why I haven't recorded in a bit of time. Because I found an update that there might be two new heroes in Castle Clash for this next future update. And it's going to, and, and if it, if the, uh, oh my gosh. And if the update does come out, it's probably going to be two new heroes named Leprechaun and... One is some kind of Antarnica or something. I can't remember, but one is a pay to play hero and one is a 40,000 shard hero. Now, that's why I'm doing these dungeons to save up shards because I have been farming shards all day today because I've been using HBM for freaking so much time. I beat P again, which is what's exciting. And it's all had to do with that boss, so. Hopefully Q will go as good as just like P is. It's just I haven't seen any runs on Q actually because I actually know I was never interested in that letter. So that's going to be kind of an issue because if we have two bosses, it's going to be a really huge problem. So that's going to be really horrible. We have one more dungeon because I, I, I'm counting the dungeons. Um, and it looks like that. That's my six heroes are hopefully going to do good in this HBM that's going to come out in a few seconds. Part one of two. Because I'm not just going to do part one. I'm going to do part two of HBM. Of Q, maybe. If not, then that pretty much will change out the whole concept. So, I never tested on Q. That's the only difference. So, what the heck? If anything has to do with me. What the heck did I say? Mmm... They're talking about freaking inappropriate stuff with 
Spirit Mage, I believe. I feel bad for Spirit Mage right now because they're calling him. They're still calling her the Purple Hooker. Her, <clears throat> hooker. Um, because of, well, she, first of all, he or she, whatever, I call him a he, that he still flies, like he's still a flying hero, and I pretty much don't use Spear Mage at all, because I really, all my heroes are really good, like, I have, I still have him or her in my, what you gonna call it, in my towers or garrisons, because I want to see that 5-5 war god in there, so... I still use him or her because I don't really care if Spear Mage is a he or her because by, by looking at this picture, it's a she. By looking in gameplay, it's a he. Cause it just makes so much sense. Because um, how it makes sense is that when, when he or she frocks, it actually is the boy version. So, yeah, it's quite awkward stuff, but it's actually kind of true to me. But I'm not sure if that's true, so yeah. So here we got on Q, so hopefully it goes out well. Before I even do that, I'm gonna need to do my oops. Put out my hero traps in the back corner. So no one runs them over, hopefully. Especially maybe like ninja. The ninja will get me good. So let's see. 10 minutes to that hero base is done with. HBM Q for the first time. Never experienced it. Oh my god. Look at these heroes. These are actually 9 star heroes. Especially um, elite. Especially elites. Man, I am so dead. I'm so dead. And look at that funny guy. He's gonna hit something. Oh my gosh. Nearly got Pumpkin Duke. Um, what happened to that Paladin? He's at Glitcho. He's El Glitcho. Um, he got he just caught himself. But okay. No, that does happen sometimes. Actually, I have seen that before. Um, Paladin being glitchy out. So it is a problem because it kind of does disturb me of me recording. So I don't really want to see that. So, that's going to be kind of an issue. He's just staring at a dead paladin. So, kind of glitch show on paladin. Oh, I, oh we got Santa Bloom Revite. Pumpkin Nick's going to go down pretty quickly. Well, Tanka's going to go down. Okay, my base is pretty much done with. That was kind of horrible. Q1. Oh, my God. That was horrible. Seeing those high heroes, that was terrifying. Let's try another run. Did I use any hero traps? Yeah, of course I used one. Hmm, I might need to change my setup. Like, Multanica. Um, good for slowdown part when it comes to boss, so I might need to keep him in. So, Vlad totally in. He's a game changer. Santa totally in. Cupid, Pumpkin Dragon. I can't really change anyone. I really can't. Put Minotaur. Not really going to be much help because he's a ground person. And Voltanica. And that would be the person if I had to replace. Not anyone else in this game. Oh, and my six heroes I have. Got a Thunder God. And he's going for his own. Oh my god. This is going to be horrible. Take out the Thunder God. Yeah, he's gonna proc at some point. Oh, good thing he did not proc on my heroes. Last time I caused some kind of disaster. And Punky Dude, why are you hanging out in the front? Of course, he wants to take aggro. Oh my god, that Thunder Strike. That knocked out almost all my, half of my middle area. Yeah, I cannot let Thunder God touch my middle area. Montanica, you gotta do your business. And of course you proc on one hero, of course, and not of any other hero. Or even choose around you. Save my cube. Dead. Is that a land we're gonna proc? Okay, that's fine. Lost cupid. 
This right side's okay, but this left side kind of horrible. So Vlad's gonna be tanking every time. Well, he can tank for days, like not days, but you know he can tank for pretty much forever. Oh no, no, don't rock on that side. Rock on this side. Okay, good. Santa taking care of stuff. Okay, Vlad, hopefully getting the damage. No, Atlantic. Oh, you stupid Atlantic core. He just went back. Yes, I am recording. Oh, that was bad. That that freaking Atlantic core just said reverse psychology. It's like, no, you do not touch me. Don't touch me. Can't touch this. No, I cannot say no. All I want right at this point is to prevent that Thunder God from proccing. Doesn't matter what the, what the occasion is. Just prevent him from proccing. Oh, jeez. Get the Reaper out. What's the, what's the deal my heroes? Pumpkin, you stop peeking out. You don't, he doesn't usually do this. Oh, my gosh. No! Hunkin- Oh my god. Let's just keep going. I mean, like, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be much help if Hunkin' Nook's not in here. So Q2, great. Got, got the Atlantic Coin Fun to God combo. Proc, please. Thank you. Slow down, Reaper. He hits two times. How ridiculous could that be? And I take out, wow. This is, okay. I can't take on Q. There's no way I can take on this Q. Nice. I will really care as a Cupid. I had too many Cupids in my altar. Get one more shot. That's pretty much the main part of this video. Maybe I'll change my base when it comes out. Like, I'm not going to do part two for a while until that, uh, what do you call it? This town hall gets up, and then I'll change my base. I, I promise you guys that for sure. Because this base is not bad. Like, until HBMP, obviously. But it is has some issues, so I'm going to change it for you guys. I and mean, maybe I'll do it in a video, maybe I won't. It's up to you guys if you want to see that or not. Because I mean, it's going to take pretty much a lot of time. So, I don't really want to waste your time just seeing me change a base. So, you understand what I'm saying. So, yeah. So, that is all for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoy. And I'll talk to you guys next time.